I have a message. This message is not meant for everyone. It is strictly for the gods. I'm here to speak to only a specific speech. There is a category, a group of individuals which can never be categorized as humans. I'm here to speak to the immortals. I'm going to touch on issues that are very crucial here. I don't want even to say that they are golden because the price of that information even God cannot buy it no matter the amount. I believe in every person's life there must be a defining moment where you make a decision that from now going forward my life has to change. There must be a time in your life when you thoroughly and extensively investigate every information that you have stored in your servers, in your mind. Verify whether that information was accurate whether it is about Jesus, you must ask yourself a question. Is there Jesus? He died on the cross. Did he really come? Was he really sacrificed? Was he really crucified on the cross? And was his death on my behalf, did he die for me? If he died for me, why am I dying for myself? What if you believed a lie? Do we blame God if we are not seeing the answers or we have to blame ourselves for failing to receive the answers that God has made available? I have questioned that and I've gotten the answers. You must investigate. Who are you? The reason why you have to investigate is because that information is occupying space. As inaccurate as it is, it still has to stay somewhere in your being and affect your lifestyle because you are a product of what you know. Failure to understand who you are is the reason why you can never understand God. You are a spirit. you live in a physical body and you have intelligence. You don't have a human spirit. You don't have a human spirit. What you have is the body. It is the spirit that has the body. It is not the flesh that has the spirit. You are the spirit, so you cannot say I have a spirit unless if you are referring to the Holy Spirit. You have even as a spirit to remain knowledgeable. 
you have to know what is happening around you and there is need for the spirits to attend sessions teachings briefings on spiritual matters so that they are updated on current events i'm going to speak to a part of you that understands god when he speaks i believe that i am in a position to speak to somebody god has given me that platform in your mind and in your heart to be that one voice that speaks and life is given i'm going to touch on issues that are very crucial here i am teaching on the way of the spirit the way of the spirit you must be somebody who loves the word of god because everything that i am going to teach here is going to be based on the written word of god and some of what i'm going to say are experiences that i've personally encountered but those i believe can also be shared and in certain places they are also backed up by scriptures so we don't want to get into fables here we don't want to get into legends and into vain stories we want to get into the word of god and feast from the lord's table we do have a scripture in the word of god the bible that talks about the way of the spirit and i will have to speak to you as though i have never spoken to you before because chances are the part of you that i'm addressing or that is hearing me tonight has never heard me speak so i pray to god for you that you are granted illumination understanding and comprehension I pray to God for you that information that will be massaged into your spirit during this presentation of divine insights will be stored into your memory And whenever it is time for you to make use of that information it shall be retrievable you will bring it out and put it to work and your life shall become an improved life a better life child of god this is very found this presentation is meant for you so let's begin the journey chapter number 11 ecclesiastes verse number 5 as thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit know how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child even so 
Thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. Now let me try to touch on something there because most preachers, they thought that the way of the Spirit here is in reference to the Holy Spirit. But this Spirit being referred to there is what most people call the human spirit. And that is the spirit that is being referred to in this passage of scripture. And that spirit has a way. That spirit is on a journey. Though currently it resides in your physical body. But that spirit is coming from somewhere. Now it is somewhere and it is still going somewhere. And most people are still in this category where the way of the spirit is not comprehended. It is not understood. It is still mysterious. The way that the spirit navigates. And yet this way can be learned, it can be studied. We can do a research on the way of the Spirit and get to understand how the Spirit moves. I am teaching on the way of the Spirit. The way of the Spirit. This is a snippet from an entire series of teachings by Emmanuel Makandiwa. To have access to the full teaching, connect to Oral Plus. Oral Plus is a motivational and inspirational content-based application that hosts audio, video, and literature teachings by Emmanuel Makandiwa. Oral Plus offers users an all-in-one media service. Users are able to connect, watch or listen to their favorite sermon right in the palm of their hand as and when they want. An excellent tool for those on the move who want the convenience of being connected to Emmanuel Makandiwa on the go. To have Oral Plus on your mobile device, simply head to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for Oral Plus. Download and install and let the Oral experience begin. This teaching and many others are available on RL+. Plus. Plus, reimagining the future of inspired content.